Okay, so hello everybody and welcome to the Learning Strategy Center workshop on time management. It's going to be really fun. So if you don't know, the Learning Strategy Center is um, actually on the Ad Quad at the Computing and Communication Center building. If you go there, you'll probably notice it also holds um, Cornell Tech. So if you ever have any computer problems, that's on the first floor and we are on the fourth floor. So yeah, and you can come here for any questions you have about like tutoring, study skills, um, we provide some supplemental courses for large lecture courses like ke um, general chemistry and bio, econ, um, and things like that. And then we also have some instructors that help with study skills and time management. So today we're going to go over some time management techniques um, based around these two calendars that I gave you. One is the weekly calendar that looks like this. It has all the days of the weeks on it and most of the hours of the day. And so... Uh, Tips for filling this out, um, it's really helpful, um, obviously there's a lot of weeks in the semester as you can see by the semester calendar, so you may not fill this out for every week, but just to get you started, um, this is how it looks. Um, so what you want to put on this calendar is your classes and stuff you do every day. So if you like to work out, then write your workout times, uh, write in when your classes are, um, when you eat, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, you should eat three meals a day, it's really good for you. And um, if you have an on-campus job, uh, you should write th those things on there too. And so what you'll see is, I wrote mine out um, for this semester. It's kind of small, but if you want to pass it around. So I have like class in the morning, 9 a.m. unfortunately, and it goes every day. That's the fun of learning Chinese. Um, so you write your classes in here. You might have some around here. Oops. Okay, so you might have some in here, down here, so yeah, so you write in the things that you have every day. Okay, so class, work, work, and breakfast, and lunch, maybe, and dinner. And so the key to this calendar is to find out where you have your holes. Like you have some holes right here maybe um, during the day. And what you want to do in these holes is get as much work done um, as possible. So like um, doing homework um, that's due, problem sets, reading, stuff like that. Or just going over your notes from class is a really good way to review things. Um, and so you find these holes and then you try to get as much work you can before dinner time. Because being a university student, you're a full-time student. If you fill out paperwork, you'll put student next to occupation. So you should really be having like a 9 to 5 or 9 to 6, depending on when you eat dinner, type of schedule. And that'll kind of help prevent um, from like the college repertoire of um, doing your homework late at night. And then like say you write sleep at 10. But like if you keep um, put it, pushing your homework back and doing it after dinner, then this sleep will get lower and lower. And then you'll miss your 9 a.m. class and that won't be very fun. So that's how you use um, the weekly calendar. Um, does anyone have any questions about that? How much do I need to sleep every night? Um, that's a good question. So um, I think that's very dependent um, upon the person. I know when I came to college, one of my high school teachers said, ask your mom how much sleep you need because she really knows. Some people work well on five hours of sleep. Some people work uh, need 10 hours. Um, the usual that they say is like eight to nine hours, but that's really dependent on you and how you sleep, if you get good sleep, stuff like that. Um, it's also really exciting and important to take naps. They can really help your productivity if you take like a 15 to 20 minute nap during the day. So you can write that on here too. So yeah, sleep is important. Okay, any other questions? How should I prioritize my work schedule? <laughs> um, so yeah, um, that is dependent on what classes you're taking and how you think those classes are going. Um, like for example, if you have to take general chemistry, for example, that um, has a lot of work involved with it and it has a lab time um, and everything. So, but if you're really good at chemistry and you know you're going to do well in that class, then maybe you don't necessarily want to prioritize it before a class that you're having a harder time with. Um, also, I would look at the syllabus and see which is worth more. 
uh, they usually tell you the percentages like, oh, prelim number one is worth 40% of your grade, so you obviously really want to study for that. Maybe prioritize that before a homework that averages out to 5% of your grade. Um, so yeah, that's how I would prioritize your schedule. Sounds good. And you should always prioritize school first before fun, but also don't forget to add in some fun, especially on the weekends when you have the whole day to yourself, you know, study for a while, but go out to dinner with friends or something like that too. So you mentioned prelims. How would I go about studying for some of my prelims? Um, so it depends on the prelim. Um, so there are a lot of like problem solving based classes like math, chemistry, things where you have to do, where for homework you're doing problem sets. For those, I would pra do practice problems in the book. I know some of the books have some of the solutions in the back, so you know, try out the problem f for yourself first and then check the solution. Um, but for other tests, you know, that aren't problem solving based, then they're reading based, or maybe you even have a final project instead of a prelim in it um, that has a lot of readings. So what you can do there is go back over your notes. Um, if you are familiar with the Cornell style of note taking where you write questions based on your notes, then that can be really good review. You can like try to find out, you know, what questions they're going to ask you and stuff like that. And, and if you condense your notes, then you're really doing good review. Um, also, of course, office hours and working with others is also a good way to study too, to go over material. Okay, cool. So next we're going to go to the semester calendar. And that has the whole semester, all the weeks of the semester outlined for you, including the break time, so spring break and February break. And what you're going to put on here are big things, such as prelims, essays, projects, maybe you have one or two quizzes, things like that. And so you'll put that on those days. So like here you have a prelim, uh, you know, finals are down here. And maybe there's a prelim before spring break and over here. And then you can put essays and projects, big things like that. Some some classes just have like essays and projects do, and maybe only a couple, so you want to make sure you know when those are. Um, the semester calendar is really to help you see the bigger picture so that when you have big assignments like these, they don't just jump on you all at once and then you're, you know, scrambling to get them finished. But you can actually see when they are and start them early. Um, also on this, you want to put days where you have maybe events or like you're going home for the weekend or going on a trip. So basically days you won't be doing any work so that you can also prepare for that too. So like, um, I live pretty close to here, so I might go home for the weekend. And I know that when I'm home, I'm not going to really do any work. So, um, so then you can prepare, or like if I went home this weekend, or say you take a trip to New York City or something, then you know like, oh, I have this essay here, but I'm going home these this weekend, so I'm not going to get any work done, so I want to prepare for that. I want to start my essay early and not, you know, on Tuesday be writing it on Tuesday night. Um, so here's my example of that. It kind of gets, it gets pretty full, so you want to make sure that you're really filling this out based on your syllabus. And um, then what will happen to you, just like the weekly calendar, sort of, you can see the holes. So like, right here, I know this is really early in the semester, but right here, before February break, you know you have a prelim. So um, in addition to like reviewing maybe this week and these days for your prelim, um, you know when you can do that, and so your prelim isn't just, you know, jumping up on you. And so, yeah, that's basically the semester calendar, to just to try to see, like, the bigger picture. So, do you guys have any questions? Um, what res resources are available for um, my, my classes and extra help, especially with um, studying and pri prioritizing? Sure, so at the Learning Strategy Center, we have... Um, a couple classes that we have extra tutoring for. They're more like, you know, the general classes that a lot of freshmen take, like chemistry, biology, um, econ, physics, and calculus and math. And so that's kind of summarized here on our summary of academic support. Um, in addition to the tutoring, we also have supplemental courses, which are course one credit courses if you sign up that you can go to. They meet once a week and it's kind of like a review session and it's really student based. They'll go over the stuff that they did in lecture, but also, you know, if students have questions, they can go as well. 
Um, and then for study skills, um, we have our fabulous instructor, Mike Chen, who does, who meets with students one-on-one, -on -one, that you can talk about your schedule and go over time management. You know, that's really individualized, which is great. And he runs a couple of workshops throughout the semester, too. So, about all of this and extra study skills and stuff like that. Can I bring my essay to be worked on at the center? So for um, writing, we um, suggest the Knight Writing Institute, which is a little bit different from the Learning Strategy Center. But they also have uh, walk-in hours um, where you can go and take any part of your essay to be checked over. And so they really help with writing. So that's a good resource too. So yeah, thank you guys for coming and have a great semester.